All right, so you want to learn how to set up the Elite Net. I'm here to help you. First, what you'll need is a pen and paper. You'll need an iPad. You'll need an Airport Express or an Airport Extreme. The Airport Express is perfectly fine. It's smaller and more compact, and it's exactly what you need. And of course, you need the Elite Net. We've got the power supply, the Elite Net box, and your Ethernet cable. And you'll need electricity. So I've got a power strip, power plug right there. All right, you'll need to plug all the items in. Now, take note of this. The Ethernet cable is plugged into this port right here. The other end of the cable is plugged into the Elite Net box. Your power supply is plugged in, and you've got your electricity plugged in. One thing to note, when you plug in the Elite Net box, you'll really quickly see a red flash. You'll know that the Elite Net is working once you see that. Now, next step is to go to your iPad. Go to the Wi-Fi network settings, and you're going to go ahead and wait for the iPad to see that there's a new Airport Express. That is listed right here at the bottom. Set up a new airport base station. Click that. This takes a little bit of time, so be patient and wait. Once it's completed, you'll see a screen similar to this. What you're going to do is create a new network. I'm going to name this one Luminaire Wi-Fi Network. So we click in here. And the device, I just name it the same thing. Luminaire Airport Express. Now we need to create a password. I always like to use the word Luminaire. Verify your password. And then click Next. Save password. At this screen, it's trying to ask you to connect to the internet, but we're not concerned with that because we're creating our own network for dedicated control from the iPad to the Airport Express. So we're going to continue anyway. It's finalizing the setup of Luminaire Wi-Fi network. Now, the reason why I need a pen and paper is because you need to write this down. So we named this one Luminaire. Wi-Fi network. And so you don't forget, write down the password. Of course, you can make it anything you want. You can name the network anything you want, and you can create your password anything you want. All right, now you see it says setup is complete. Click done. And what's happening now is you're actually joining the network. Your iPad is now connecting to this router. Exit that screen, click on Luminaire. Now this screen, um, I've already opened up a project, but the important thing to learn how to use the EliteNet is to set up a couple things in the status settings. First of all, you wanna make sure that you are connected to the Wi-Fi network. We just verified that because we put in the password, we connected, everything's all good. Right here it says smart lights. We're not concerned with this because that's actually to do with Philips. They have a brand of lighting called Hue and if uh, you had those lights for your home, you could use Luminaire to control those. Now, Artnet. 
That's what this is, an ArtNet device. We need to set up unicast mode. The standard setting I believe is broadcast, but we need to click that, open it to unicast, and we need to set the IP address on Luminaire app. Now on the EliteNet is the IP address, 10.0.1.5. That's what we need to enter in. So we click here. Type in 10.0.1.5. Hit done. All right, now let's go back to the status screen. Now make sure that your node says 10.0.1.5, your subnet says zero, your input universe is one, and your output universe is zero. If scan is enabled, that's fine. That actually has nothing to do with Luminaire. Um, it can be disabled or... Okay, the next step is to connect a DMX cable. I'm using the cable connected to this light here. It happens to be a battery powered light. You can also use a wireless DMX transmitter plugged into the DMX output. This one is plugged into DMX out one. So you would just plug in your wireless transmitter and that would communicate the signal. So it doesn't matter if it's a cable or wireless DMX. So we're going to go ahead and now control the light. You're now using the EliteNet. Now if you'd like more information about how to create stacks, queues, fixture files, and all of that, there are several resources online such as reading the Luminaire manual or joining a Luminaire group. You may find someone there to help you. And also there are paid services by different individuals who can teach you how to use Luminaire. An important note, do not try to change the IP address of the Elite Net unless you're experienced with networking IP addresses. We've designed the Elite Net to work out of the box, to work with the Apple Airport Express. As you can see in the video, it really is very easy. There's no softwares to download. There's no nothing to install. Um, it, there's no DMX uh, three pin to five pin adapters needed because this comes in three pin. If you want five pin, you can order it with five pin. So I hope this video was very helpful for you to use the Elite Net. If you all have any questions, feel free to give us a call. And remember, lighting makes all the difference.